would like to start this interview asking you, you know, about your childhood. Um, where you were born, what was your childhood like? I remember that I was uh, uh, once, uh, you know, I wanted to go to my uh, grand, maternal grandma's house. Mm -hmm. I pushed my mom to, to let me to go with them, uh, but my mom ignored. So my mom went to kitchen or somewhere and I don't know. So I just left house and I was that time, my mom had just her second child, you mm -hmm. know. So I was so, so young. Like, you know, I was just about, I was so like a small kid, like mm -hmm. I was just near by three. So, uh, you know, I just left house and I went so, so, so long way from there. I got uh, this uh, local people, they picked me to a mosque and they announced my dress type and who, like, you know, <laughs> it's a, a girl child and my name. So then my family found me and they, they came to me. I remember uh, I was a child during Taliban and it, that was like four or five years old, four years old maybe. Uh, I was going to, um, to this underground uh, uh, class. It was like, um, uh, it was an apartment with six or six floors, and they ha it had a basement. Mm -hmm. Within that basement, there was a woman who was able to teach English. The girls or women they were studying with me there. Mm -hmm. They were all like you know wearing their burqas, yeah. chadari. Uh, so they were so so you know young, and there when we were like hearing something on the top like a step sound or maybe a shadow nearby windows. So we were like, you know, our teacher was like, put your books and notebooks under the carpet so yeah. no one realized <gasps> what's it. I remember my dad, you know, uh, within the, it was all during the Taliban. I, uh, Are you the oldest child? Yeah, yeah, I am the oldest, I'm the first, so. Yes. I remember my dad, um, uh, uh, traveling all around with cycle, by bicycle? you know, by bicycle and um, so long ways. I remember that once there was no food at home, mm. w like we had nothing to eat. So my dad had to, you know, to do something to bring us food. I remember once I was sitting at the back with my dad and I had my scarf. It was so beautiful dress. I have his picture in my phone. My dad just, uh, you know, took me to a photo studio mm -hmm. because it was my birthday mm -hmm. and he wanted when to... When is your birthday? Uh, 25 September, oh. uh, 1994. But, but with official documents, it's 1992. He just took me to studio. So I have, you know, like pictures from six months, mm -hmm. you know from uh, uh, one year and six months, and then, you know, every year all, you know, the same. Every birthday, a photo, and there is an album of uh, oh, my so photos. Oh, so you can see you mom. growing up. Yeah, yeah, growing up. So, you know, he took me to do photo studio just for this photo uh, with the dress, and the dress was, uh, you know, uh, my, my mom uh, sees it to she me. Made the yeah, she dress. made that for me. Uh, what and did that, you like to do when you were young, when you were a child? Did you have like favorite games uh, or we just... The childhood, I had just till four years old. My childhood stopped when I became four. Because after that, my mom was going to, you know, to that class mm -hmm. and I had to take care of my one brother at home. Mm -hmm. And I had to take care who comes at home, who knocks the door, you know. At four, I, at, at four, at four, you're taking care old. of the baby. Yeah, uh, because you know, uh, it, I had to do. My mm -hmm. mom had to help my dad with life, mm -hmm. with uh, financial matters. You know, I had the responsibility to bring food, all the needed, the you know, stuff. What I, my mom needs, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I was going out and buying stuff for home. And then, um, yeah, suddenly something happened and uh, a change with new government. I got that it's something changed because after two months, mm -hmm. I was able to go to school. So when I, first day I went to school, 
so then I, uh, you know, when I went there, I, uh, my mom, you know, the, the school pupil, principal and all, and my mom talked to them and, you know, told them that she, you know, she's able to read, mm -hmm. to write, and she knows math, she knows uh, Quran. So, you know, let her pass an exam to you, so mm -hmm. then you decide which class is better for her. Mm -hmm. When I did with that exam, they, uh, you know, proposed me fourth class. So I directly went for Just, fourth. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Uh, I directly went to four, and then uh, I studied till seven there in Kabul. Uh, you know, my dad got, she, he was jobless anymore. Mm -hmm. And he had to go to city, you know, and work with these, uh, like, workers to build houses for people, you know. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, one day he came at ho to home, I, I, his, her, his hand was full of blood because uh, the work of, the, because of the work the that he was doing it, hard, you know. Like without the protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, when he came home and I saw his hand full of blood, I, you know, I cried a lot and I asked him to not to do anything mm -hmm. anymore. Uh, I told him that, Dad, we are, re like, we are ready and we are able to not to eat, not to drink, not to wear, but it's hard to see you this way. Mm. Uh, and yeah, that was the moment that my dad, like, you know, he started something, let's, let's meet my friends, let's do something within this new changes inside government. So after a few, uh, like, days or weeks or maybe months, he got, he got, he found, found some of his friends with war, with, which was working within this new military forces. That time was, it was so new, it was 2002 or three maybe. Uh, so he, he went to Paktia, another province for uh, defense, min, uh, defense uh, ministry mm -hmm. and uh, this, uh, you know, uh, so he, he had got a job there. Going to Paktia, you know, broke, broke all the bridges between me, my friends, my life, my life aside, um, everything, you know, my, uh, my family, mm. like, you know, um, I had friends, like my cousins, all them, and that was broken anymore. Uh, we had to live there in a very different society. I had to speak Pashto. I had to wear a big scarf, you know. Mm -hmm. While I was so young, I was just like, you know, uh, maybe uh, uh, when I graduated from 12, I was 15. I was nearly like at the end of 14. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was like kind of a problem for, for me to, to adjust. Uh, the first day when we been to Paktia, and I started going to school. I was having all that my same dress when I was wearing and getting cobble, like short, you know, coat with uh, pants and with white shoes, short heels, this much, and glasses because I have allergy with sun, glasses on my eyes and like bag, bag, and it was like, and my scarf on my neck. And my mom was also a teacher for the same uh, school, you know, she, oh, she, she, yeah, taught, she, uh, she was ta teaching uh, at the, you know, few years at the end of the Taliban also, she was yeah. teaching with this uh, electricity classes for oh. women, you know, okay. we had something like that and mm -hmm. she was doing it. And more important, I was responsible to keep my home as well so clean. I was responsible mm. to cook. I was responsible to take care of my children, my families, mm. my sibling. I was responsible to wash. I was responsible to, within all these, I was responsible to study well. Yes. I had to be at the top always like first grade first grade first grade you know first of the class every yeah time. first yeah was it if i was your mom or your dad that put my mom my dad your my dad. dad was always my dad was so hard to me always you know and i know why he was i think uh and now when he's not here i i believe you know he was hard to me because he wanted me to be here you know
I'm and sure he, he would have been very proud today. Yeah, he was at at the end in the years of her his life. He was really really proud. So day by day, my lifestyle got changed. I got he long ears. I mm -hmm. used to be to have long ears. I used to wear sh long dresses. I used to wear big scarf. Not back bag. I was using this side bags. So everything got changed. Everything. Uh, I had to um, talk Pashto. I had to, you know, um, I was at first grade when I went there. So when I went there, I got taught, you know, because mm -hmm. it was new language and new school and everything. So you know, it was so hard, and my dad was so 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 sad for it, and he was like. Oh, uh, you know, you're so not setting quite, so. Well. So that's quite a something that your dad wanted his daughter because that's not something that you know it's common in 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 the culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? To you know, he was like, you know, um, my mom always calls me, mm -hmm. you know, Zarif, you know, when he loves me. Zarif is like you know boy's name when it comes Zarifa, so it become female. But you know he like he says you're my Zarif Khan, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, she she says like you're you're my Zarif Khan because she always you know she always tell me I I I'm I'm searching my son within you and I'm looking to you as as my old like not my daughter only mm -hmm. you're my son too. Mm -hmm. Uh, and importantly, my dad was like always pushing me and pressurizing me mm -hmm. uh, because I think he wanted someone like him to his family, you know. Mm -hmm. When I got ninth grade of school, ninth class, so then I, I you know, I, I had some problem with my teachers, you know. There was a teacher. Uh, she w he was uh, teaching us this, uh, you know, Islamic subjects, mm -hmm. and he was, you know, uh, you know, not giving me the marks that I have, uh, that you, you know, deserved. that I deserve, just because of my short dress, mm -hmm. just because of my small scarf. Mm -hmm. uh, so once, twice, and the third time, I am like, you know. I raised the vice, it was like rising, my vice was something from my childhood, I think. Uh, uh, so then I went to uh, educational directorate, myself, okay? Mm -hmm. My mom, my dad, no one was aware of it. I, I went by walk myself, I met the, these top officials, and I told them that, man, they did wrong to me, you know? I, you know, I deserve more than this month. Mm. So when they came and we were like, you know, they ch checked my s answer sheet. Mm -hmm. I was like ro right. right, and then they, uh, the, you know, uh, they they just give me the right marks, the right marks. Uh, and everything got down. Do you think so, that's the first time you really stood up for your rights? Um, uh, yeah, it was uh, that. And then you know, uh, second time when I, again he did the same. And I went to him, mm -hmm. why you're doing this? Mm -hmm. And he was like, I don't like your style, okay? So then I was, okay, I went again to the same director mm -hmm. and I asked people to, to help me here. And when they came and they saw he's again the same game, mm -hmm. so then they asked me that this, we can't, you know, push him out because, you know, we, there, that time we were facing lack of teachers, mm -hmm. you know? because it was news, everything. So he's, they told me that uh, if you go to another school, change your school. Then I said, okay, I will change my school, but not with the same grade. You know, this, this school was uh -huh. f too far from my house. Uh -huh. I had to walk from one side for one hour, walking. And the way I was walking, it was always, always, more, more, more dangerous. Every month, or maybe twice in a month, or maybe once in a two month, I was facing these, you know, suicide bombs, cars, roadside bombs, attacks, fights. Like it was normal there. So more than more than three times I got like three times I got badly injured. 
from Roman and tax? It's for yeah, it's, it Just was normal, you know, on the road. And then, like normal, normal scores and all, it was like always something, but three times so hard. So uh, yeah, uh, it was four C, like it was eleventh grade, and then my dad, you know, you don't go to a school anymore, you know, it's sadly, dangerous. because it it causes your life. I was going to school hidden by my dad from my dad. Oh. When they were going to offices, mm -hmm. I knew it, they were going to office from 8 at the morning till mm -hmm. 4 at the evening. So it was normal something. So I had my school from 1 to 4 to 5. But I, I thought that if I go to school and I come back by 3 to, and I reach by 4 to home, mm -hmm. so it will be no problem. You know, no one will be able to no catch me. Know. So then no will know. When my school was at the morning, mm -hmm. you know, I was waking up earlier than anyone else. I was cleaning house, everything, clothes, my sisters, you know. I was uh, trying to brush my sister's hairs, clean them up, like uh, then lock all the doors and just haul for them and like putting them in a hall and then going to school. But when my school shifted to the afternoon. afternoon, it was hard. I'm coming home and my dad is here. And what okay. do you say? Yeah, my dad is here. And you know, he's just standing in front of me. Welcome. Okay? And like, you know, I'm shaking from the top till the end, you know? I'm shaking badly and I know it's gonna be hard to me. Hmm. And more important, he was not punishing my brothers for the all the stupid things that they were doing because he was like, they're children. You know? You are you have responsibility to take care of them. He was punishing me. Hmm. He he was starting like beating me with big, big slaps on my face and you know once again, destroy, like, you know, um, kind of trying to destroy all my notebooks, books, and everything. And then, once again, for maybe a week or two weeks, I will just stay at home. Mm -hmm. And when I see that things are getting to back to a normal, you know, process, mm -hmm. back hiding to school. So for you, education was really something that inspired you the most. For you, it was... It was, you know, I knew it. You know, if I study, then I have a work. When I work, then I have something to manage my life within that, mm -hmm. you know? And the, if I do that, I'm, I'm, I was sure that my dad will be always also so proud because I will be helping him as well, you know? I will be just standing by his side. So, uh, you know, it happened, it went so long way, the same, you know, procedures. And then I got, you know, I finished my school with 12th grade and, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, I got, you know, I was graduate of 12, I was one of those 10 uh, top rank ranked students of the country within that year when wow. I got, uh, uh, you know, graduated, and w I was one of them top ten uh, students announced by Ministry of Education. And uh, he, uh, you know, he must have uh, been proud then. I was proud, but more important, it was about the university entrance exam. National mm -hmm. University entrance exam. We call it Concour. Mm -hmm. uh, that is like, uh, that's something like, uh, you know, uh, we were like, you know, uh, I was like more, you know, worried about it because I had no preparation. People are going to tuitions, going to read extra books. But what I had, I had work, 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 mm -hmm. all the, I was in home. And late at the evening, when I was done with everything, bringing tea to the table to the, my to my mom and dad, 
washing back the glasses and everything, putting it in a safe place. Then I had time to come to my my room and study. And what did you dream you would become when you were? That time I was like you know thinking of uh, at least to you know to be free of this limitations of mm-hmm. life you know. Uh, you were an independence, right? Yeah, I was. That only was. So yeah, I went to that you know the night that tomorrow morning at eight o'clock I have the university entrance big exam it's big big all over the country i'm going for that tonight i was washing clothes by hand till three at the morning mm. i went to bed and i woke up just about six and then i just checked the normal books that i was really studying at, a ho- at school not the new ones mm-hmm. so i just checked it and i went to university to that exam and i you know, within that exam, uh, for a starting, they had a reception time, kind of. So they asked me, that, uh, because I was always top on, and I was so close to the director, and they always loved me a lot, always. So they asked me to have a speech as well on behalf of these girls for the university interest exam. So I had that, and then I went to exam, and I passed, uh, I finished that, and I, like, you know, came back home. So evening, at the evening, my mom came home from office and he, she was like, how went the exam? And that was the most like, you know, painful question. Because I told her, mom, I was washing clothes till the three at the morning when I had the exam at eight at the, you know, mm. at eight o'clock at the morning. So what do you, like, what do you expect, you know? So then she was really, really upset. I know her feeling because uh, there was one of our relatives. I'm not going to name it. She she was sitting with my mom Mm. somewhere and she told my mom, my mom started talking about me to her that I wish she goes to university, she starts his, her career, and it will be something like a good life, a starting of a good life, seeing a good thing within my children, you know, for my children. But she told her that, you know, uh, I, I don't believe, because she's always busy with cooking and cleaning the windows, glasses. She won't have anything else, you know, because she's not able. So later on, after a month, we got the result. I got a call from my uncle who, who was living in Kabul. He called me. He just told me that, hey, stupid, do you know? And I was like, what? He's like, you paused it and you will go and study LLB, you know? And within the LLB, I wanted to study this uh, political science. And the moment I heard this, oh my God, I just, you know, I just, you know, I don't know what happened to me. Phone just went out of my hands and I just sat and I started crying. Mm. Uh, It was, it was for, you know, it was a happy to you. But, but my dad wasn't that much happy. No. You know why? Because no. the university that I, was, I had to study within, it was host province, somewhere far from where the province that we are in, you know? And there, there's no one of our known, no place where I live. And they were like, he was like, oh, I'm not gonna let her because no. She is now just new. She she's just at the end of her fourteen, and she will become like within a few months, two or three months, she will just newly become fifteen. So, you know, I'm not gonna do this. This was, you know, the worst. The worst. You know what I did? I just, I just collected all my papers, my notebooks my certificates, you know, within 
within I studied 12 cl classes of school within mm -hmm. eight years okay within this eight years I had more than more than more than 40 certificates 40 certificates and you know appreciation letters and everything I got all and I just like you know destroyed it because I thought I studied so hard I did this so hard and what's the reason like nothing I'm not able to do anything else so done with the study you know we came to Kabul and in Kabul I was just a home girl the most important thing for me was is my is this windows glass clean or not mm -hmm. is food ready on Indeed. with the time on or not are my family siblings wearing good clothes or not they are they are clean yeah. or not it was the only thing for me for maybe at least eight months eight months like this yeah and then my aunt who is living here in germany she came to Kabul. One night from the morn from ten ten at the night till morning, three or four at the morning. She was there, she just sat in front of me and she talked to me. To at least, you know, uh bring that same thing back to my mind. Or maybe she wanted me again to be there. At the end of this discussion, I told her, okay, I'll do something. So what I did, I, I went to my dad and I asked her, I, I want to go to the, I want to teach within same school, private school, to, to students mm -hmm. where my, my two sisters are studying, mm -hmm. you know. I can be their teacher. I will go with same transportation to school and I come back. And I will earn some money as well, you know, and it will be something good. So my dad was angry with that. He was angry with that? See, he was angry with that. And then he okay. decided, you know, he left me going there. So what I did, you know, going within going to that school, I was going hiding, you know, for one hour to an English tuition. Okay, uh, and my my mo dad wasn't aware of this. One day I got stuck in the traffic and everything, so I reached late home, and my dad was there. That was again a bad part of story. That was again dark moments. I don't know, I, I really can't judge my dad. I really can't judge my dad because I know he loved me, you know? Mm. I know this, but why he was doing this all, I really don't have anything in mind for that. My brother had a amount of money to go to tuitions to do anything. But if I was earning the money myself and mm. paying for my tuition and going for the tuition, so. When he, when I got caught, I had to face punishments for that. But I never gave up, you know. Finally, uh, I saw, I, I saw that, and I got that it's not working this way. I need to study, you know. So then, I went to higher education ministry to collecting some documents, and there I met some member of parliament, some people from the same province where I got my uh, school, you know, mm -hmm. from Paktia province. And then they n recognized me, they started talking to me and helping me, and then I got a chance to meet higher education minister. And when he recognized me that I am one of those 10 toppers, so he was like, what are you doing now? And I was like, nothing, you know. Why you didn't went to university? Because my dad, no, ignored. So he was like, okay, do you want to go to India? Do you want to study there? You know, I don't know what happened to me. Mm -hmm. And I told him, yes. You know? And he was like, okay, tomorrow 
you're going to embassy and we are going to send them a letter to send you for a scholarship there. You know, when I came out, there I was like cool. When I came out, I still reaching home, mm -hmm. I was just thinking of this, how to convince my dad 